Ladies and gentlemen, you know that things are going crazy in the world when people who don't even subscribe to Christian beliefs or conservative beliefs are looking at what's happening in the world and they're saying enough is enough. I mean, people even in Hollywood are coming out and they're saying, okay, we got to, we got to put an end to this whole woke agenda. They might, might, they, they might not say it the way that I would say it. it's a satanic agenda that's attacking this country, but people's eyes are being awakened to what's happening. And I think this is actually a really good thing, but I want to share with you a clip of Jillian Michaels who shared very openly, you know, she's somebody that subscribes to a lot of different things on the left. She's coming out and she's saying enough is enough. This is getting out of hand. I want you to, to let me know in the comments. Don't put their name out there. But do you know anybody in your own sphere of influence who might not believe the same way that we believe, but their our eyes are being opened? Are you seeing this in your world? Let us know in the comments down below. But I want you to see what she has to say here. And then I'm going to show you some examples of things that have just come out in the news that are absolutely shocking that prove that what she's saying is not just kind of fear mongering, is not just being an alarmist. This is real. This is continuing to creep onto our front door. And you and I need to take a stand lest we get taken over by this cancer in the culture these days. So check out what she has to say here. And then we'll uh, we'll do some commentary and then I'll show you some things in the news right now. I after. grew up here. I'm a woman. I'm a gay woman. My mom's a Jew. My dad's an by the way, might be some language. Can't quite remember. So just so you know, if you got kids, just be aware of that. Can't filter everything she's, she says. I'll try to, but just want you to be aware. Okay, let's roll. Arab. I have a black kid. And believe it or not, my son is half Latin, even though he doesn't look like it. I hold a million cards in your game of woke victimology poker. And when I leave California, maybe you've lost your mind just maybe like when you when you have me running from home um, maybe it's gone way too far what was the line like like what was it oh my God, I guess, girl there's the not thing. enough time and you know i i actually take this this line from bill and um elon musk and they're like i actually haven't changed Yes. The world around me is shifting, and I haven't moved. So some of these laws that are passed We're going to talk about some of these laws. Are absolutely fucking mind-boggling. They are crazy. In relation to Super crazy. crime, protecting our kids. Like, we're decriminalizing everything, which arguably I would probably be okay with, but we're not regulating any of it. So it's like, okay, you're going to decriminalize sex work, but only so women can legally loiter on the streets, like not to keep them safe, not to have them pay taxes, not to make them, you know, regularly check for STDs, not to take away the pimps out of the equation. It's the, like, if you made that argument to me, I'd be like, well, yes, we want, of course. I I mean, I could be liberal. I could go there with you, but it, yeah, I I grew up this way. But when it's like, oh, and then what we're going to do, is we're going to pass a law for LGBTQ rights so that 24-year-old men can sleep with 14-year-old boys and not have to register as a sex offender because it's just not fair to the gays. I'm like, I'm, what? Yeah, it's, it's crazy, what? man. Like, I don't know if you saw that one. That was like, I think, early 2020 when they passed yeah. that law. Mm-hmm. And it's so that I just like, also, it's tw- there was a, that decriminalization also just happened in Germany. I want to share you uh, with you a quick verse about this because Jesus actually talked about this as being one of the signs of the end times that like before he would come back, we would see this occur. So I'm going to share with you just a quick verse. Watch this. Matthew 24, verse 12. These are all of the things that Jesus said would happen before, before he returns. Matthew 24. Jesus said that in the end times, what would we see happen? We would see lawlessness would abound. So as they're decriminalizing everything, everything under the sun is okay. You can, you you know, take fentanyl on the street. You can, uh, they're legalizing sex work. They're doing all this crazy stuff. And then you're giving provision for people that are minor attracted persons, maps. Now, you know, you're creating this open door where they could take advantage of kids and there's nothing wrong with that. Lawlessness, 
Lawlessness is increasing. Do you not see it? Do you not see that right before our eyes, the prophecy that Jesus declared would happen is happening in our in our generation? It's happening right now. Let's keep going with what she has to say. 24-year-old man touches my 14-year-old son. Oh, I, I will get a gun and yes. take matters into my own hands. Yes. Like, are you kidding? Or the fact that a 12-year-old child... By the way, any parent, any parent that... It wouldn't be indignant about that happening. I mean, as a dad of four, there there's nothing that infuriates me more than that whole conversation. I mean, it's part of the reason why we're homeschooling right now, because we don't want to have to deal with all that junk in the public school. Wait till the laws that I show you that are passing. It's it's just crazy. Can be put on off label cancer drugs mm. to irreparably change their body. Again, if my son came to me and said, mom, my daughter, I think I'm trans. I'd say, okay, you know, like you want to dress this way. You want me to call you whatever the heck you want me to dress. Fine. Explore it. I love you. I'm cool. Like do you as long as we're safe, but we're not changing your body until it's fully developed. I'm sorry. Conversation's over. Can't get a tattoo. Exactly. Are you crazy? It's insane. It is insane. It is insane. And by the way, you hear it from me first because this woman, she's not a believer. So she's not she's not even prescribing to this to this truth right here, this this instruction, this book of instruction. So she's she's thinking about what makes the most sense to her logically. As a parent, I'll tell you, first and foremost, if my kid is exploring or curious about any of that sort of stuff, first of all, we teach the word of God so clearly and we love them and we accept them and we care for them. They don't even know that that's part of that's what's going on in the world right now. And Lord, please protect them from from that junk. But this stuff is being put everywhere in society right now. So, I mean, we're not. I'm just telling you right now, if you're a parent that's struggling with that, you got little kids. Your job is to teach them who God made them to be. If there's if they're if they're a six year old trying to figure out whether what gender they are, you're the parent. You're the parent. You tell them what it means to be a woman of God or a man of God. And you teach them the difference, equal in value, different in role and function of each of these genders. God created them in his image and he created them male and female. Pretty basic, right? Sorry, my phone was ringing. Okay, let's finish what she has to say here. I just can't, it's it's madness. It is madness. It's madness to me. I could go on and on and on and it's madness. So here, let me let me show you like why this is so concerning to me. I'm going to show you the law shortly, but this is happening everywhere. You're seeing it in in these TV shows. I've done I've done reactions to things like Coca Melon for crying out loud, Jurassic Park, this new show on Netflix for kids. All of these shows are are confusing the kids about sexuality. I mean, why are they even talking about this stuff? in a kid's show, period, whether it was heterosexuality or all the other stuff. And by the way, hear my heart, man. If you're if you're struggling with that, the Bible's clear about what, what God thinks about that stuff. But he loves you, and I love you, but you, you're free to make your own decision. Just understand that there's going to be consequences for the decisions that you make. But to make it, like, put it in front of all the kids all the time, what the heck? Look at what Walmart just did. Walmart... Going all out for Pride Month. You probably saw this this month. Like if you went into Walmart, you go into Target, you go in these places. It's it's mind blowing to me how we are promoting perversion. That's literally what we're doing. We are promoting immorality. We're promoting and celebrating confusion everywhere. And I understand that a lot of people. For a lot of people, this is an identity crisis. But we got to start teaching people who they that they are greater. Than their sexual identity. They are greater than their sexual preference. We got to start teaching people that they have innate value, inherent value beyond what those preferences in the bedroom are, for crying out loud. But you're getting this, this is being pushed down our throats everywhere, even at the places that you shop. And by the way, if you're tired of supporting a Walmart, you're tired of supporting this sort of agenda, we have created a solution, me and my team, called switchwithcap.com. You can buy your deodorant, you can buy your laundry detergent, soaps, shampoo, 
You can even buy steak. Like you can get steak shipped right to your house, and it's amazing. Made in America manufacturing, producing, promoting non woke messages, eco friendly, great products. And oftentimes you're going to save more money by buying from us than you are buying from Walmart. But I'm telling you this because if my 3 million followers on all of my platforms take the hundred dollars a month that they're spending at a target or a Walmart or whatever on these things, you can take that money, spend it here instead, get the same stuff, probably better stuff, quite frankly. Think about how much money that is taken away from people that are promoting these messages. That's $300 million a month. So go to switchwithcap.com, click that button right there just to schedule a call with my team just to learn more. No headlocks, no pressure. Just schedule the call. If you're interested, make the switch. You can see the link in the description of this video or in the first comment. But let me show you to another level about how crazy this has gotten, okay? Well, look at this news that just came out. California Senate approves ban on schools notifying parents of their child's pronoun change. Now, I don't know if this was actually written into law because I think the governor has to sign it the same way the president has to sign a bill that goes through Congress. But nevertheless, what like they're going to disguise this. You can even see on the on the posters here. They're going to disguise this as keeping kids safe. There's no place that a kid should feel more safe than at school. They should feel more safe at school than their own home. And I'm not minimizing that some people have a really terrible home life. But it is asinine to me that the government thinks that they they have they will do a better job at parenting our kids and guiding them into truth than parents will. And so here you have this bill is being has just been approved. California Senate approves ban on schools notifying parents of their child's pronoun change. It's just crazy. I'll I'll put the link for this in the description so you can read the full article. But this is where we're at now. If your kid is going to a school, think just imagine this future. They go to school. They go to school as Sally. They decide to change their name to Tom. The parent has no idea that this is happening, but when their their kid is going to school every single day they're being referred to as Tom, they are being groomed in this identity that you had no say in as a parent to help guide them toward reality of who they actually are. This is where the world's going. This is where the world's going. Jesus said this in Matthew 10, verse 14 through 15. And whoever will not receive you nor hear your words when you depart from that house or city, shake off the dust from your feet. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. If you remember what happened there, all the people were getting in the crazy sexual lawlessness and immorality. And God rained down brimstone and fire from heaven to destroy the city. And he's saying that in this next generation, the ge- this generation that rejects ro- the word of God, rejects the gospel, rejects the healing message, the saving mes- message of what Jesus came to do, it is going to be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah for, than for this next generation. And that's what we're living through right now. We're living in a Sodom and Gomorrah generation right now. But I have some good news, guys. This isn't a doom and gloom message. You might be thinking, Cap, how can you preach this stuff with a smile on your face? Because I know how the end of the story goes. I want to share with you one final clip that is going to encourage you. Dr. Ben Carson appeared with Charlie Kirk, and he shared something that I just think was so money. And we, we this is the attitude that we need to have as believers because we, we can't be, the goal is not for us to be, to look at people as the enemy. Yes, we want to preach the truth. Yes, we want to hold people accountable. Yes, we want to, we want to see righteousness you know, flood this country, flood this, this world before Jesus comes back. But we can only do that from a place of victory. Listen to what he has to say. Are you concerned about what's going on at the border? You know, think about all these people who are coming into our country. You know, the eight people from Tajikistan who were just found who had ISIS connections. Those are the ones that we know about. What about the ones that we don't know about? And if the terrorists aren't coming into our country and planning something terrible, then they're not very good terrorists. So, I mean, we have a lot to be concerned about, but we have an ace in the hole. God. Boom. We have God. Ace in the hole, baby. We got an ace in the hole. My man doesn't look happy enough. He should be cheering. He should should have a smile on his face. 
if if he was willing to spare Sodom and Gomorrah for the sake of ten Jesus. people, we got this. Okay, but we have to do our part. That's you and I part. need to do, to do our, our part, part, man. We 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 got to make sure that we are doing the work of our ministry, the fulfilling the work of an evangelist, preaching the gospel, expanding God's kingdom. I'm telling you, like you. You, you got so much bigger of a role in this thing than being a greeter on a Sunday. And I love greeters, by the way. If you're a greeter at church, especially my church, you're the best. But your role in the kingdom of God is so much bigger than that than 90 minutes on a Sunday morning. In the workplace, in the school system, in your family, in your community, at the gyms you go to, whatever it looks like, you and I have the authority and the permission of Jesus to go and advance the kingdom, to go and take back what the devil has taken from God and to establish his righteousness, to establish a new standard. Everywhere we go, we are called to be ambassadors for Christ. So we got to do our job. We got to do our job. We can't, the goal is not to hide in a bunker. Oh, we got to hide. We got to hide in a bunker before Jesus comes back. I'm not saying don't, it's not wise to get some food and, and prep a little bit. Maybe, maybe some ammo. I mean, shoot, get what you need, but don't make that your MO. Don't make that your final goal. Make your goal. Hey, I am here to advance the kingdom. And if I'm advancing, guess who's behind you? The weight of heaven is behind you if you choose not to grow weary in this season. So, yes, get fired up. I'm fired up, but m- but me being angry isn't directed at people. It's directed at the devil. It's directed at the, the father of lies, the one who's come to steal, kill, and destroy and deceive this generation. Because remember, God's word says that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as far as rescuing us from this whole mess, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. This is God's will. His desire is to save as many people as possible. So let us be people that do the work. You can help by sharing this video. Share this video. Wake up some people. Share this video with people that don't think that this is really a problem. And also, if you want to learn how to practically be a part of the solution in your everyday shopping, this can make a massive difference. We are, we've already had uh, thousands of shoppers come through, and they've loved the products. And uh, and my team, too. What you'll love about my team, if you get on the call, give them any prayer request you have. They'll want to pray for you. They want to minister to you on the call, even if you don't shop. That's why I love my team so much. We're doing kingdom business. So come schedule a call with our team. Go to swiftwithcap.com to learn more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.